Hi, welcome. It's Alon Geva, and I'd like to open a question and an answer of a master. It's called from the book Behind the Mind by Wuxin, translated by Roy Melvin. And let's dive within. This is an opportunity to really stop and sense what is already here. Leave your mind alone and just fix the attention in the background. At least in the beginning it appears to be in the background. It's everywhere. Yet it's within. That's the paradox. So the questioner asked the master, when will I have a breakthrough? The master, the initial breakthrough is knowing that self-attention is far more important than any action that you have to do, than any word that you have to speak, or any thought that you have to think. As one cannot obtain an accurate reflection of themselves in running water, so too what is real cannot be accurately discerned by an active mind. This is very beautiful. This is very inspiring. I hope it inspires you too. If one doesn't, does not wake up to who they truly are, if you don't realize yourself, your true self, not your story about yourself, not the personality, then you haven't realized the essence of life. You're just living in a dream world, thinking that the dream is the real thing. Yet the real is prior to the dream, yet it is one with it if you don't realize that you are prior to the dream, existing while the dream is happening, and existing when the dream stops, then you're just caught in a dream without realizing the essential being of yourself. So, wake up. It's worthwhile because you wake up to your essential, essential being. See if you can recognize it right, right now. There is a transmission that is happening, that if your mind is really subtle, you can sense it, because everything is a vibration, a frequency. The initial breakthrough is knowing that self-attention is far more important than any action that you have to do, than any word that you have to speak, or any thought that you have to think. Here what I see is self-attention is fixing the attention or putting the attention on the self, which is yourself putting the attention on that which is changeless, absolutely still, prior to any thought. Once you understand that self-attention is the most essential and you recognize yourself, then the attention can be fixated on the self or rest on the self. In the beginning it might appear intense concentration, and you can do it for a moment and then your mind will come and re rebel and then it will pull all kind of tricks to pull you into the world or pull you into a dream or pull you into a fantasy or reactivity or fear just know that it's all mind stuff once you see it it won't have the power 
and then you can really shift the attention and recognize what is already here unaffected by all these rubbish of the mind the initial breakthrough is knowing that self-attention is far more important than any action that you have to do you can shift the attention by inquiring or checking what is the evidence that you have that there is an individual I within you by checking when judgment appears am I judging or judgment is just a reactivity out of habit that appears within the field of awareness which is already here and then the judgment is mixed with the field of awareness and then if the attention goes on to the judgment the field of awareness apparently is covered like an image projected on a screen the screen is dis disappear and all there, there, there is is the image yet when you would inquire who is judging without looking for an answer if there is no other thought, if there is no answer that coming then the question completes itself merges into the field which is you field of boundless awareness and you can remain just for a moment to recognize, to know yourself as boundless awareness Your mind will play all kind of tricks on you. It will shut down, you would fall asleep, you would uh, be foggy, blurry. You'll say, no, this is rubbish. This is bullshit. What can I do with that? Why should I realize who I am? It's because the mind would not be able to continue to run the show when you wake up to who you truly are so it will it will um, send all the gangsters all the mafia to make sure you follow the mind that you obey the thoughts that you get attached to the thoughts that you listen to the voice in your head that you will be a good slave that you will obey instead of shifting the attention to yourself which is ever free always here boundless, changeless, unshakable peace. The initial breakthrough is knowing that self-attention is far more important than any action that you have to do, than any word that you have to speak, or a than any thought that you have to think. So even concentration, concentrating the mind on itself is still a movement this is not yet self-attention just so can you can discern and be clear as one cannot obtain an accurate reflection of themselves in running water so too what is real cannot be accurately discerned by an active mind here he says running water there's the movement, as long as there's the movement of the thoughts, the stream, and your attention goes there and it's locked, then you cannot see an accurate reflection of who you truly are. Because even when you have a glimpse of who you are, it might be the reflection of the self, and not, and not be the full realization of your true self. Yet even the reflection of the self is really essential for you to start to fix the attention on that reflection because it's the doorway to the self which is beyond. I wish you great success. I hope it really 
does something within you makes you ponder makes you wonder reflect upon these words see what is your immediate experience right now if you find it benefit and you know anybody who can benefit from this share it with others and please give any comment if it is helpful for you if you're interested in anything in specific that I can video and touch if I can and all the very best to you infinite love flowing into you see you next time